Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about changing tasks. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a bit of a story. Hi Frederick, I have been working for a store on a story for the last 10 days. Now that I and I have even simplified my story and talked to my senior about this, my my senior coworker. Me and my senior both believe that if the senior if he had done the task and f he could have finished it in three to four hours. It's taking taking you ten days, and it would take him three to four hours. Why the fuck didn't he help you? What? Uh, oh, right. Oh, sorry. And uh, because his experience in such things is uh, is much higher than mine, should I talk to my abo my boss about this and let him uh, take uh, take this uh, task off my hands and just do it in a few hours? as I have already spent way too much time on this and my senior is confident that he can solve it in that amount of time. Well, if you, uh, I would say there are many things that are going on here that I would be very upset with. I mean, if I was your manager, I would pull, pull your both in. Probably, bo if I would start off by uh, talking to the both of you at the same time and giving you an earful. Uh, because this is this is gross gross negligence. I mean, um, it might be my fault as uh, as well if I was your manager uh, that I created the situation and then I would have to ask someone to yell at me. But I would definitely be upset with you over this. And then when I've d I'm done talking to you as a group, I would isolate you uh, and then talk to you individually uh, because there are two. You, 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 this is completely unacceptable. So if if you have spent ten days on a task. And you haven't been able to progress on that task, and if it really is true, because I don't actually know the details about this, that the senior claims that I could have done this in a few hours, and you have not asked for help, and no one working at that company has identified that you need help, then what the fuck is going on? I mean, you so it sounds like this seems to be like this. If this has happened, you have some serious problems in that company. Serious, serious problems. And then on top of that, you we put ourselves in a situation where, all right, so the senior now is informed, and his immediate or she, her immediate statement is, or the statement is that I could do this in three or four hours. And sure, that you could absolutely do that, but if you are a junior developer, that's not the point. I'm just assuming here that you are a junior developer, because if you're not a junior developer, then yes, we need to talk about that. Then we're going to have to do a performance evaluation. Because if there's a difference of several days between the work you do as a mid-level or a senior developer, uh, and another senior, then either we have some very, very, very bad legacy code going on or, and that this specific senior has become way too important for our system or you are grossly incompetent. The, 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 those are the only two options because, I mean, the guys, I know that there is a, a popular idea that, oh, there are these super programmers who are just so much better than everybody else, and sure, they do exist, but on average, if you have two people that are roughly at the same level of experience, the difference in how long it takes them to complete a task, if they have roughly the same um, circumstances, is not going to be measured in this amount of time. Having a difference of several days um, it, it's uh, it, it's very uncommon that that happens. It's extremely uncommon. But as I said, like the, to me, there's like a cl this is a clusterfuck. This entire situation is a clusterfuck. Uh, so what I s because the thing is, if if you are, let's just assume now that you are a junior developer, because that's the only way I could justify to myself under normal circumstances, or explain the the vast major the vast difference in time that it would take you to solve this problem. Uh, and uh, then, uh, th then the the purpose of you working on this task should not be that you should solve it in the fastest am time amount of po the fastest time possible. That's not uh, that's not the purpose. The purpose is to get you to a po point where you can be as productive as the senior. That is the purpose. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. If you find, and this does happen with some junior developers, if you find that 
you give them tasks and they simply require too much like they are simply like they lack the aptitude for doing this or like they are simply too too slow like the because every company has a cutoff point you every company and every group of people have a a, a sh an amount of investment that they are willing to make into into a program or into a person so if uh, they let's say for the sake of argument they're like they're really really uh, naive and kind of well I'm not gonna say this or that, that about it uh, but some companies they may they expect juniors to be productive like that like day one you should be productive and if you're not uh, and you're delayed too much they're gonna fire you because they expect you like they only want to hire juniors uh, they call them juniors but hey now we come back to the problem okay what is a junior what is a mid-level and so forth but that's what they they want that's what they expect from you and then you have companies that are really really forgiving and like they will give you a lot of assistance and like give you a lot of time to learn and fuck up because they understand that it takes time to learn these things but even them will have they will have a break breaking point everybody has a breaking point if uh, as an example I mean the, the breaking point for your company might be at 20 days or 30 days like it doesn't matter like there is no company out there no matter how loving and forgiving and understanding they are at some point you need to be able to ship the thing because that's what they're paying you for and they decide when enough is enough so it's not like uh, it can't be the fact that you, like you are simply not equipped to deal with this or the, this place of work. But what I really am concerned about is that you, you like that nowhere here do you state that the, the the most obvious solution that is that you pair program with the senior. That is the whole point. That is the point. Like it, it, sh it should be the point. It should be what should be happening now. It doesn't matter what, who the fuck cares if the senior can t solve it in three to four hours. If the time, it I mean, if you have been delayed for ten days and you still haven't gotten to a point where somebody has like really talked to you and tried to figure out what's going on here, if this if this problem has not found a resolution in ten days, then it was never about getting this out as quickly as possible. That was never the issue. So if the senior says that I can do this in four hours, that's great. Then you shadow that person and you learn from that person. But uh, you really should do a post mortem. Uh, you really should, like you just as the uh, as uh, the operations people uh, operations do when like there's an outage or something, have a post mortem and to really really figure out what has happened here. How can management not identify? or someone who is like your boss or whatever, identify that you need help with this because you've been delayed for for quite some time. How can, how can that happen? And how is it that you don't feel comfortable or you for some reason haven't asked for help? Or if you have asked for help, why hasn't like this solution, th this, what, why hasn't you got, why haven't you gotten the help that you needed? And then like the senior, what, why is it that, uh, uh, is it possible that the situation that has occurred is because you have some very very good understanding of a part of the system that nobody else knows like what there's so many factors I, I, I it's almost like a crime scene type of thing you have to you go and get the CSI team and f figure out what's going on here so what I want you to take away from this is that I think that if if you have gotten now to the point where you where like your boss has had enough or like whatever yeah sure give the task to the senior but you really need to figure out well, how this situation occurred there are so many factors here that it's hard to even express all of them at the same time for me uh, you need to figure out why nobody f has checked in on you you need to figure out why you haven't asked for help or why you haven't received help earlier you need to figure out why the senior is able to do this in three hours and you can't do it in 10 days and figure out what's going on there and the thing that you should do is to pair program on this problem so that you can learn how to solve these sorts of problems because if you are if you are a junior developer the whole purpose of you working in that company is to get you to a point where you can be productive and sometimes uh, you, uh, you need to actually help juniors you need to invest in them quite often you have to in order to get them to that point you can't just throw them in like a, like a child who doesn't know how to swim into water and just hope that they're going to be able to swim you can't do that all the time some companies have that attitude and trust me a lot of people drown that way but if you want to really solve the situation and you're willing to 
uh, because clearly being delayed for 10 days didn't stop them then you clearly have the time to train the train the subscriber so train them have a great day